is Michael from the Tech Room channel, YouTube channel. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take apart the Camille. We're going to do. So what we're going to take out of this Camille is some nice hardware. So what we're going to take out is a graph card, which this Camille does have a graph card, a RAM, and all that. So, um, that's what we're going to do today, so, uh, let's take a ball on this Camille. Okay, so, before we begin taking the Camille part, the tools that you need is a uh, fill-up and a plant it. So, uh, those are the tools that the, I should say, the remain to take apart the Camille. So, um, that's what we do. So, alright, keep going. Alright, everybody, let's uh, begin taking the cover off. So, what we'll be do is open the cover. Uh, this particular Dale Camille does have a quick flash, so, uh, do a quick flash real quick. <coughs> that. Oh, yeah. Smell bad, too. Alright. Okay, people, so let's begin taking this uh, Camille pot. So, um,. What tool I got with you is a Philip and a flathead screwdriver. So uh, uh, these are the two tools that one I'm going to use. Um, and what that was on my mind. Um, uh, so uh, for warning, um, if you to reuse those part, make sure you uh, always ground yourself to the case so you don't uh, zap your uh, part so uh, make sure of that um, they do sell anti-static bands so uh, keep in mind so uh, um, if you need to do that uh, grab that so so uh, let's begin taking this apart so what I'm going to start with is the graphic on. Excuse the background noise too, so. Okay, let's take a look at this graphicon. This one here blue. Uh, let's see here. Take a look. This is a NVIDIA con. Looking nasty, but this one may blow it on, so. So, let's put it off to the side. So, let's unplug um, these stuff away here. Smell bad, too.
These are Molex connection. This one is a four pin for the CPU. Uh, the Molex it loses you for hard drive and CD drive. Uh, this connector it loses you for floppy drive too. So uh, these are the basic. The 24 pin for the motherboard. Okay, let's take a look at the RAM. Same song. These are Samsung memory. Okay, on to it. Come here too, so uh, let's see. We got Max Store Drive. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, 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 Smell bad. This is gonna smell bad. Ew. Gross. Ew. 
like this. This is nice. Dab on squeeze the dab on. I saw it come on. Okay. 
Alright people, uh, that's what we get out of this camera today, so... Alright people, so we got all the goodies out, so uh, let's test out the component right, now. Alright people, so we got ourselves a test bed to uh, test out the component, so what we're gonna do is uh, test out the horn drive, uh, test out the graphcorn, and uh, test out the RAM. So uh, let's get going on one of... Uh, the components. Okay, everybody, so what we're gonna do is, uh, uh we're gonna put our RAM in our test bed. So, uh, do it right now. So, let's unplug this real quick. Okay, so. We unplug the panel from this. Snap in our whim. So all I'm gonna do is uh, push one side. Okay, push on the other side. Okay, that clicked. Same way. So make sure you align the knot, the notch, and the ram. Uh, be careful how you push these ram in too, so... Push the other side until you hear the click. There we go. And now, we install a graph cone. Uh, we're gonna put in the top slot, because the top slot is loose for a graph cone too, so... Uh, we're gonna install that in... in the fourth slot. Maybe a locking, uh, mag uh, locking, uh, latch, click, show, and uh, we're gonna unplug the VJ cable from the onboard and plug into the left phone. We're gonna switch the CPU out of this, too. Camille will see if the component will work. Make sure you match the arrow, do so. We're going to lock down the heat sink. And we're going to figure out how to attach another hard drive to it. So, uh, let's grab... Uh, let's see how we're going to do it. To unplug the panel. Actually, let's see. Uh, what the heck we got? So, uh, okay, let's boot this up again. When we boot up, let's switch the video. Ooh, I mean, 
cho em không? the graphic on let's see how bing see if that one is in that plug back then okay here we go let's point the camera all right Bing. so uh Okay, everybody, so uh, let's do a close up shot uh, of the CPU. So, uh, let's get uh, real close. So, what we're gonna do? Uh, okay, off to sign. Right here. Move this while. Unlatch this. With one sign. Uh, this CPU is a uh, uh, old socket. So if we get a little more closer, see how much closer we can. So this is a PM on. So it's using a uh, old. Uh, old socket so uh, that's what we uh, got um, RAM um, uh, well when I was talking about when I was installing the RAM it's the notch so you gotta match uh, you gotta match in the middle somewhere so uh, the bluesy you have to do. So what we got? Uh, that be it. Okay, go. Udwa. See if this Camille gonna be angry or not. So let's plug in the power cord real quick. Go. Aha. Okay, you. What the picky to mail? Okay, do we got a keyboard? Yes. Go F two to continue. Okay, okay, so we are we are at my house. So we are gonna take a uh, closer look at some of these uh, components uh, on the floor. So uh, we're gonna do some uh, a closer look and uh, tell you. If all these components are working or not, so uh, uh, let's do, let's take a look at them now, so um, uh, so uh, let's take a look at FOSS is uh, the max the hard drive uh, that is a 40 gig hard drive IED uh, we got two slot cover uh, we got two RAM from the test bed, the the RAM came out of the Camille on the test bed, so uh, then we got a uh, NVIDIA graphic card, 
So uh, uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's take a closer look for each individual piece. So let's do it right so now. So the closer, the first item to uh, to uh, close up is a Mac store 40 gig hard drive IED connector. So they have the old Molex connection. So uh, let's take a closer look at this. Uh, so let's get a nice closer look at the label real quick. So it's a, this is a uh, crown jewel. I love how the label warn you about the uh, pan net thing. So, real nice, real nice. Uh, I said before, it's. Still uses a IED connector and a Molex there, so, uh, So, uh, uh, basic 40 gig core drive. So that is my, uh, my, uh, crown jewel. So, uh, let's take a look at another component. Kay. The next component we're going to take a look at is a RAM. So it's a, it's a, okay, let's get It's a uh, M something. I'm not quite sure what that M for, but uh, we got a uh, uh, 512 meg RAM right here. And this is the. Uh, is that DDR? It's a uh, old RAM, so it's part of a PDM Camille, so. Uh, the, uh, the Camille that in the test bed were um, two thousand. So, uh, uh, so they all. Again, focus. Yeah. Okay. So these RAM are. Work, they work wonderfully uh, in the uh, in the test bed, so they work out very good. So, um, so that what we we got out of that. Uh, the next one would be soft cover, which pretty uh, pretty simple. They did cover up the hole in the case, so that's what they do. Then the last piece we're going to take a look at is a uh, NVIDIA graphic card. So, uh, I'm pretty sure this, these are a little bit of a uh, uh, closer look. So, uh, let's give a, a nice All closer right, look. Alright, everybody, so uh, we are, now we got a closer shot of the NVIDIA graphic card. This uh, graphic card is a 40... For XM GeForce card, so uh, um, the GeForce. Uh, this graphic card, so they work. Um, it was, they work in the test bed, so uh, it's working uh, perfectly. So uh, let's give it a, a little bit of a closer look at. It. So uh, uh, we got. So we got a uh, DVI, S video, and VGA. So that's what we got at the back. Uh, we still got we still got a EGP slot. Uh, this graph card is using a old slot, so uh, 
this graphical does spin a auto motherboard, so uh, that's what we got. Uh, the heatsink, uh, nothing special uh, with the heatsink. It's a uh, passive cooling uh, heatsink, so uh, uh, that is. There are no fans, so uh, uh, so it's a simple heatsink, so uh, that's what we got. So to confirm it they in video graphical we're we'll gonna we're we'll gonna take a look at our logo. You can see it a NVIDIA graphical by the logo. Let's take a look at the other components. Let's take a look at the other component on the video card. So we got, uh, we got normal caps. Let's see, oh, we got Foxconn component. What else we we got? So let's load the on. Just in the microphone, so let's use a little bit echo uh crackling. Look like our uh our our uh, memory is a in not quite sure how you pronounce that. Not quite sure. We got a nice warning stick on. Let's rotate that around. Okay, that did not work. We got our we got a home and office use uh label. So uh, we got that. We're warning. Look like this graphical had a option of uh, of uh, more RAM T two. Not quite sure what that T two means. Got a lot of trace uh, disconnect. Or does have a lot of trace to the DVI. It does the VJ that's the VJ look like does have a lot of um, uh, trace to it. it? Does have a lot of trace, but uh, it's when it. Really interesting, so let's take a look at the sticker. So let's turn it around a bit for you. Okay. Two thousand twenty one. Blue one, okay. So the revision revision A zero one. That's what we got. Damn it, we have the bad way out. Okay. That is that be that's what we uh, got ourselves. Um, that's what we got uh, for the treasure find. So uh, uh, so that's what uh, that's what we got out of that Camille. So uh, 
Uh, let's uh, see you next time. There's no need to justify or categorize each other's company. Alright everybody, so before I end the video, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to uh, check out the link below the video and uh, if this video was very helpful, if you want to support my channel, um, feel free to support my channel um, and uh, I can do a custom build cameo too, so uh, I can do that too, so uh, if you like to support my channel any way you like, feel free, so uh, uh, thanks a lot, and see you for the next video. Ah. Okay, let's switch back to the gateway keyboard. Ah. This their keyboard doesn't work. <laughs> ah! Right in the middle of recording. This is going to be the ending video.